Hey there guys, what is going on? I know we have talked a lot about the AM63 recently, but somebody mentioned in my comments the other day when we did make the dual wield video, that the AM63 is actually still a fine weapon in its single variety. If you only have one of these pistols, you're still gonna kill people relatively quickly. You're still getting those 33 damage per bullet, making you get a five shot kill and a relatively fast fire rate for a pistol like this. So you are still gonna be able to do some work with just one of these pistols. And that's what we're presenting here today. A single pistol class set up with the AM63. A lot of fun to run around with this thing and definitely a good option for a sidearm. Just before we do get into this solo AM63 class setup here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. We are only about 180 subscribers away from hitting 5,000. So if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. But again, let's just jump straight into the AM63 here without the dual wield. No dual wield here today, just a solo pistol class setup. So as usual with these videos, the timestamps are going to be on the video's loading bar and of course in the description. So if you are looking for something specific, make sure you do skip to that section. We are going to start off with our stim shot here in the tactical slot to give us that extra health as we do fight people and get into those gunfights. You can take a flash or a stun if you do prefer that, however, but that's just a personal choice. In the lethal slot, we are going for the Semtex here, but each of the five available options in the lethal category are all fantastic and you can use them to good effect regardless of what you pick here. So this is again up to you. In the field upgrade slot, we are going to take the jammer here, but you can take a field microphone, trophy system, whatever you really do prefer. Again, this is another slot that is up to you and depends on your play style with what you pick here. Moving to the wild card, because we are running around with one pistol as our primary weapon here, we want to take perk greed to maximize the abilities that we do get in terms of those perks. Don't really want gunfighter here, but if you are running this as a secondary, you want eight attachments on, of course, your weapon in your primary slot. You can take gunfighter if you do prefer that. And that's for those perks, we want Flak Jacket and Forward Intel here. Flak Jacket does give us that explosive resistance, as well as Forward Intel giving us the larger minimap size, as well as the enemy respawn locations. Perk 2, we do actually want Assassin here, or you can take Tracker if you do want to see those enemy footprints. That's quite a useful perk as well. And then the main one, we want Scavenger to get those extra bullets on people we kill. With those pistols, man, you have to have more bullet available, so that does make it a little bit easier for us to kill people. And then lastly, to round this out, we do actually take Ghost and Ninja here. They're very powerful combination, classic stuff here. If we were using this as a dual class setup, we could take Gung Ho as well, so we can reload while sprinting and do all those other lovely good things. The attachments on the AM63 solo variety are a little different to how we have presented the AM63 with the dual world class setup. But for the most part, you're still going to be able to kill people very quickly. And you start off with the agency suppressor here. This does give us a 100% increase to that muzzle flash concealment, as well as an 8% increase to our vertical recoil control, which does help keep those shots down, making it very, very easy for us to hit our shots here. You can just take a regular sound suppressor as well if you are still leveling this thing up. This is a nice option for that sound suppression. Then the barrel, we take the reinforced heavy barrel for a 30% increase to our effective damage range as well as 80% increase to our bullet velocity. That does take these numbers to 20 meters of effective damage range, which is really, really high for a pistol. And the bullet velocity of 460 meters per second is really, really nice as well. You then combine the damage and then the fire rate of 652 rounds per minute and you get a really, really powerful pistol. It's almost as powerful as some of the assault rifles in the game, which is pretty ridiculous. For the most part, you do want to steer clear of the task force barrel, despite this giving you a little increase to our damage as well as more bullet velocity and more range. This does increase our recoil massively. It does take a sharp spike up to the right. It can actually be really, really difficult to control. So just keep that in mind here. Maybe steer clear from the task force barrel. Then we move to the body. We're taking the steady aim laser here for a 15% increase to our hip fire accuracy. This is still an automatic pistol and up close, we can still hit fire people very, very effectively, even though we don't have two of these pistols. So a hip fire laser is always a good option. You can take the SWAT 5 milliwatt laser as well if you do prefer something like that. But we do lose a little bit of aim down side speed here, which is pretty important. Then we move to the magazine. You can take the 25 round mag or the Stanag 22 round fast mag, depending on how you do want to play this particular class setup. You want to have a faster reload speed, the 22 round fast mag will get it done for you. But just having 25 bullets in the magazine also feels really nice. So you choose one of these two options for our magazine. Then lastly, in the handle slot, we're going for the Serpent Wrap here for a 25% increase to our aim down side speed. It does feel a little sluggish to get those sights up without a grip here. So taking the handle Serpent Wrap really, really allows us to get those sights up nice and quickly and fire those bullets down range as easily as possible. So of course, we are just going to jump into some gameplay here and have an excellent time with this thing. One pistol is our only weapon and that's going to be fantastic. A little bit of a challenge for us here today, but with this particular class setup, we can get the job done here with the AM60. So as you could probably expect, this is going to be a little tricky here as we do only have one pistol as our main weapon for this class setup, but the fact that this thing is very, very powerful is not is not going to hurt us here, man. That that's It's going to do some work here. We still get that damage range. We still get that ball of velocity, man. Like this thing just absolutely shreds people. It is a little less powerful up close than having two of these things because just being able to delete people on this map and in this game with two of these pistols is, is pretty... It's pretty ridiculous. I think they might have to make some adjustments to some of the damage or the like bullet velocity values with this thing because at the moment, when you do have two of these, it's pretty good. 
they could do what they do in Warzone and Modern Warfare. Maybe their game engine doesn't have that ability, but maybe they can adjust specific stats with like hip fire accuracy if you do have like specific attachments equipped. Like you got the dual wield, so the damage is reduced slightly. You know, those those, those little kind of things that might make this a little bit more balanced. But at the moment, this is just really powerful. And I can see why they took so long to add this into the game, mostly because when you add things to everyone, like everyone can run this class setup because it is a secondary. So when you give everything or everyone in the game a very powerful pistol, the game's going to get a little... Hello? The game's going to get a little strange, so... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting to sort of see everybody running around with this thing, but, you know, it is what it is. We, got, we, we want to go. We do not want to be here anymore. That's interesting. I... Again, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta run away from that situation. I think there's gonna be a boy, a lad running this way, maybe? No? A little unusual. Obviously, it's not an ideal, like, weapon at fighting at those longer situ- Hang on a minute. Just, hold up. <laughs> oh, hold up. It's just a combination of decent fire rate, good bullet velocity values, and actually pretty good damage numbers. Gives you a relatively fast time to kill. It's even better than, I would say, some of the assault rifles in this game. And the iron sights actually remind me an awful lot of, like, the AS Fal. Like, you look at this thing and you're like, yeah, I've seen those iron sights before. They look very, very similar to the AS Fal and uh, the iron sights from the AK-74U. When you do have a suppressor on it, it looks very, very similar to that as well. I'm expecting, yeah, a guy to be up there. This is tough. This is really tough. I'm just going to go back through here because I can't actually push up the top on the... Again, this is another one that's going to be really tough as well. We just got to go for it. Can't sit here all day and do nothing. So that's... That actually worked out. I'm surprised. Come on, peek me. Peek me. I like that the iron side has a little little red tip so I can actually see it a little bit better, which is always nice. Being able to have a little bit more added clarity in the visuals in this game, especially with something just like a random iron side. There's also a... Uh, what is it? There's a weapon in the battle pass. Oh man, that was unfortunate. There's a weapon in the battle pass that is the uh, the fast firing one, the fast firing assault rifle. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, um, you know the the good one in Warzone, the one that was breaking Warzone for ages. Like, can't remember the name. <laughs> What's it called? Um. Fast fire rate, pretty low damage, relatively difficult to control recoil. It's just not there. It's just a forgotten part of my brain, apparently. That's just, that's that's great. I, I can't remember the name of one of the guns in this game. That's very, very good. I'm going to go this way instead. This is a little tough. This is a little tough. They're fighting against people with sniper rifles, and we have a single pistol, so that's tough. But again... You don't have to do this. <laughs> you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can take a regular weapon in this game and still do a pretty good job. And all I'm saying is that this pistol on its own is quite powerful. You can definitely get away with it. Let's go for it. Okay, that's that's interesting. I, I don't really want to be down here still. No, we got that guy as well. I mean, we had some assistance from up there. What's that gun called? The one where you can't really run a barrel on it, you need to run a barrel, but you can't really run a barrel. Uh, I can do this. I can work this out. I can use my brain powers. Nice, we got the. Okay, we need some ammo. Hmm. Okay, there should be some. Should be a scav bag, maybe. No, probably not. That's fine. Oh no, <laughs> the timing. It's not the FAR, it's not the AK, it's not the XM4, it's not the Krieg 6, it's not the QBZ. What's it called? <laughs> I can't remember. It's the, the famous looking one. It's just not there, it's just not in my brain apparently. Great, now I'm going to be thinking about what this goddamn gun's called for the entirety of the rest of the game. The commentary's not going to be me just actually saying what's going on in the game, it's literally just going to be me going, hmm, what's the gun called? I just, it's just not there. Like, it just isn't in my brain right now. Hi. <laughs> that's tough for that guy. Ooh, we're just going to lay down here, actually. We're just going to take a little... No, that's cool. He can just walk into us and die. That's that's fine. Um. Oh, there was a second guy there. Oh, that's unfortunate. So it's not the Grozer, it's not the Farah, it's not the Krieg, it's not the QBZ, it's not the... 
XM4. It's not the AK. It's the other one. It's the famous looking one. Like, I just, it isn't there. The one with hell recoil. Like, I just, it just isn't in my brain, apparently. And I don't want to look it up. I want to try and see if I can work it out. But we're doing okay. We're doing 20 and 8 with just a pistol. And we're playing against people who have actual weapons. So that's... That's still pretty good. Like, we're doing fine. Like, as far as a secondary goes, if somebody does get too close to you with this and you run out of ammo on your primary, this is going to do the job for you. Like, this is going to get you a kill. And that's all you're after, really. And then you can switch back, reload, do whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is just a... Oh, that's unfortunate for that guy. Oh, again, a little unfortunate. Uh, what's it? What's it called? Um... Mm. Mm. No. Okay, that's... You can just even hit fire this thing at people and you'll still get some kills. Like, even at those like, close to medium distances, you're still going to be able to hit fire people as long as you do take like a hit fire laser. It's going to be even more effective if you do just take like the 5 milliwatt laser. At that hit fire, you're just going to do such a good job. But I feel like it does reduce our aim down sight speed a little, a little too much. A little too much with this to warrant using it, so keep that in mind as well. Oh god, what is it called? I just, I'm so dumb. Oh, are we really just gonna let that guy climb up? Okay, that's fine. Let's push up. We're probably gonna die here. Let's, okay, we've got a kill, and then we're gonna go a different way. There's two boys going on a little flank here. No, there was three! There was three going on the flank. All right, as the game, if I can't work it out by the time the game's about to end, I'll just look it up so I can end my suffering because it's it's just isn't, the name isn't in my brain right now. And I don't know why. <laughs> I play this game literally every day. <laughs> in Warzone, one of the best class setups for the longest time was that assault rifle that played a little bit like an S, that's not the pistol, that played a little bit like an SMG. You had to kit it out so it was... Like that fast movement speed, just what's it called? What's I'm I'm sure all the comments are literally just going to be me like getting yelled at for not knowing the name of this gun, but it just isn't there. I don't use it in Cold War at all because it's like kind of bad. Yeah, the game's about to end. Okay, one last go. It just isn't there. How have I done that to myself? How have I forgotten the name of a weapon? What's it called? Let me take a look here. It's the FFAR-1. No, that wasn't in my... I, I could have sat here for the, like, the next 10, 15, 20 minutes to an hour and I would not have got that. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> All right, we're going to have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second. We finished 42 and 19 and most of the kills happened when we got that war machine at the end there. But that was a lot of fun. This pistol is going to be a fantastic secondary for you. If you do just want to throw this on a class setup and just have your very powerful primary, you're still going to do work with this thing. So just keep that in mind here. So as you saw there, guys, this M63 solo class setup, if you haven't unlocked dual wield yet for whatever reason, make sure you do try this pistol out because it is still very, very powerful as a secondary on its own. You can pair this up with like an SMG, an assault rifle, sniper, whatever you do prefer. This is going to get the job done for you if you do run out of ammo or you just need something to fight up close. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it. And again, as I said always, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I massively appreciate it and it really does help me out. Again, as I said previously, we are about 180 subscribers from hitting 5,000. So if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. And of course, I will see you in the next video. Bye.